Right then, well this is another air cool from Joyshock. This is the JF100 and it is a 120mm CPU cooler. Now, so, uh, let's take a look. Okay, so. Now this will be the first time I've actually took a look at this video. So, now yes, this does support LJ1200, 1700. It doesn't support AM5, but AM5 and AM4 are actually compatible. So, you could actually install it on that. Now these would be the AM4 brackets, but it looks like they actually got AM5 as well. Which is rather odd. But a bit of foam. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, I like that, huh? Okay, that works. Big ass. Sorry. Big installation guy tells you how to install it. Just do AMD. And then we've got Intel. So. Uh, oh, there's another bit of... No, it's not. No, no. Okay, right. Here we go. Put the box over there. Ooh, wow, I actually like the look of that one, that looks nice. The fins are a little bit denser than the uh, JF100RS, but this is of course bigger, and here we go, peel. Who wants to do the peel, because I do. One, two, three. Look at that. Ah, yeah. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. So... That's a 120, and yes, it has got a base plate which is just flattened off, of course. Now, the overall design is actually similar to the one I have already previously done, and the fan looks better too. So, let's have a look at the fan. Now, yes, this is a ARGB, you know me, I wouldn't look unless it was ARGB, and same thing with the other fan, it doesn't exactly state which one. It is. Yes, you can do daisy chain, so you can plink it up to there, and then you've got that one. And of course, wait, is that PMW? Is that P oh, PWM? Nice. I love it when companies do PWM four pin because it's so much easier than doing three. And at the end of the day, it's just lazy if you don't do four because at the end of the day, with three vi uh, three pin, it just goes off DC. Whoops. And then it just runs continuously. Let me grab these little clips now. Clips, generic, just like any other cooler, which these ones are annoying to be honest. But, of course, that's the whole point. But, here we go. We'll put this back on. Now, yes, this is very similar to the other air cooler I looked at. But this is, of course, the biggest version. The other one I believe is a 90mm fan, I think it's either that or a 100mm fan, it might be a 100mm actually. Sorry about that, that's my door, it's rather windy in Wales. So yeah, that's pretty much it, but overall it looks really nice, I do like the overall design. And of course, it's got a similar mounting to Thermalright, which of course I very do like because it's simple and easy to use. Now, yes, I do wish this was a little bit more of a premium feel, but to be fair, this is a budget option. So, yes, of course, please remove before installation. I have actually done that, and yeah, CPU, whew, 89 degrees, bang. So, yeah. Now, what I'll do is I will get this into a system so you guys can have an overall look. And then we'll have a chat afterwards, but overall, the review will be coming for this, but of course the uh, JF100 RS is first, and then it's this one.
So, yeah, what do you think? The JF100, very nice little uh, air cooler, as you can see, it's below there. Very nice, it does look similar to the uh, AK400 from Deep Cool, very similar, but very nice looking air cooler, and yes, because of AM5's um, compatibility with AM4 coolers, this will fit, and it's a very nice looking air cooler. Now, I will say that it's loud, but other than that, we'll have to wait until we get into that with the review so what i'd like to say is big thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and the review for this will be coming and i've got another one which is a bigger one coming soon make sure you subscribe this is richard welsh tech good bye